Hey, this is Freya with another singing tip. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I want to talk about the last note. If you want to find out more, stay tuned. Recently I talked with a dear friend of mine who also used to be a colleague at college whenever I studied voice. Now we had the same teacher and what was amazing is that everything that he talked about was so much of what I teach and what I've learned and it's because we had the same teacher. So I really liked what he had to say. We taught the passaggio actually. But one thing he said was this. Freya, this is what helps me all the time. Whenever I sing through a phrase, I always think the last note should be the most beautiful. And that really stuck with me because it's so true if you keep that thought in your mind as you're singing, it will really help you sing through phrases a lot better. Now, what does it do to your mind, to your brain, whenever you really concentrate on that last note and that that one needs to be the most beautiful, not the loudest or anything, but the most beautiful. It helps you to, first of all, keep your support all the way through the end to keep your energy level all the way through the end and to keep your focus all the way to the end because what happens a lot of times we concentrate on that high pitch and then once it's over it's like oh, okay and now we can just kind of relax that's just the natural reaction and that's what we do <laughs> throughout life we go through the hard stuff and as soon as it's over you know, even an exercise when you're at the gym as soon as the hard stuff is over you're like oh, okay just kind of let loose and let it go so really concentrate on singing that last note it also helps your phrasing because whenever you really think of where you want to go you have a direction and it will really change your phrasing to the better. It will really help you have better phrasing. It's like in speaking, whenever you're speaking, you already thought through the whole sentence or the whole phrase that you're gonna say and accordingly, you're gonna shape the phrasing and the words where the inflection goes up, where it goes down, where you have more accents and less accents. And it's the same in singing. You know, once you actually go all the way to the end with your mind and you, you, you're, you're pulling through, it gives the whole phrase such a great shape. So much better than thinking, okay, here's a pitch and there's 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 a last pitch. <laughs> But think of it more as da 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 da. Now I've arrived. And one thing my former flute teacher always did was actually he always drew this um, above any phrase and would like and an arrow. So that way I would always have the direction of where does the music want to go? Like even if I speak, where does it want to go? It has a point. Of arrival and only once you've arrived can you kind of like okay now there's the end of the phrase now I do another phrase keep that in mind make the last note the most beautiful thank you Brad by the way for dropping that thought um, it's awesome so if you want to check out that podcast go on iTunes and uh, download the episode about Brad Raymond and the Passaggio. He had some great insights about the Passaggio. Great. The guy went from being a baritone for many years to tenor and that's not an easy transition. You really have to deal with Passaggio in a whole other way because your range goes up and uh, it's a challenge. So check that out. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to tune back in on Tuesday for another How to Sing That Song episode and also on Thursday for a Q&A do ask your questions I try to answer one question every week your questions that's why I'm here to answer your questions to help you and a lot of you have asked me questions below my videos thank you so much and I can't always answer them in depth because it's it's too hard to explain so I always need examples so in words it's not so easy so that's why I did the Q&A thank you thank you so much have a great day and don't forget always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. Bye.